A new 48 Hours investigation digs into a decades-old cold case involving a murder of a Seattle-area high school student. 16-year-old Sarah Yarborough was last seen in 1991 on her way to drill team practice. Her remains were found later on her high school's campus. It took almost three decades for investigators to identify her killer. Natalie Morales reports on the investigation for this week's 48 Hours. We used to hop the fence right here and okay. cut through here. On December 14, 1991, 13-year-old Drew Miller and his friend were walking through Federal Way High School outside Seattle, Washington, when they noticed a man in the bushes. He's just staring at us from the bushes. That was pretty jarring. The mysterious man walked away, but he left behind a horrific scene. There in the bushes where the man had just been, the boys discovered the body of a young woman, 16-year-old Sarah Yarbrough. It was absolutely horrible. Drew says his shock turned to fear when he realized the man, who was now just feet in front of him, was staring directly back at him. Does that look still haunt you? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's frozen in my mind. The boogeyman, then. L legitimate boogeyman. The boys raced home, and police were called. Detective Scott Strathy with the King County Sheriff's Office was one of the first on the scene. Even for experienced investigators, this scene was really hard to deal with. Just the innocent nature of this young woman in her school drill team uniform with her hot curlers still in her hair, this was just pure, unadulterated evil. Sarah had not been raped, but the killer's DNA was found on pieces of her clothing. It sounded like they had so much evidence. Mm -hmm. Sarah's friend, Amy Perotti, had hoped that the killer would quickly be found. For at least a short while, it felt like, of course, they're, said, gonna of catch course they're gonna catch him. Yeah. And then when they didn't and they didn't, your expectations change. Sarah's friend, Shannon Grant. You don't know if it's your next door neighbor. You don't know if it's some random stranger. There was that constant fear. Is this going to happen again? Natalie Morales joins us now from Los Angeles. Good morning, Natalie. So detectives had DNA. They had eyewitnesses. What was it that finally led them to this killer? Well, you know, they knew that the DNA would eventually be the breakthrough that they needed. But what it was essentially, I mean, it took 28 years to solve this case. This was a cold case for a very long time until uh, a forensic genetic genealogy team got involved. A woman by the name of Colleen Fitzpatrick. She's considered one of the pioneers. Uh, she worked with the King County Sheriff's Department and investigators to try to piece together the details. And she was able to identify a man by the name of Patrick Nicholas, who at that time had a criminal record for raping women, but his DNA was not in the CODIS database. But um, they were able to surveil him. They followed him and got his DNA off of two cigarette butts that he had smoked, and it was a positive match. They arrested him, um, and then he was tried and convicted of first and second degree murder. But it was a long time coming, and thank goodness relief finally for, the, for Sarah's family and friends. And thank goodness detectives stuck with the case. Natalie Morales, thank you so much. Okay. You can watch Natalie's report, The Hunt for Sarah Yarborough's Killer, on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS or on Paramount+. Plus.